Welcome to the captivating summary of the book, No Country for Old Men. Join us as we delve into the intricacies of this thought-provoking narrative, exploring its themes of justice, fate, morality, and the human condition. Don't forget to show your support by liking and subscribing to our channel for daily updates on book summaries. We also encourage you to share your book recommendations in the comments section below. Let's embark on this literary journey together. Llewellyn Moss Discovers the Crime Scene In the vast expanse of the West Texas desert, a world of harshness and desolation, Llewellyn Moss embarks on what will become a life-altering journey. A former Vietnam War veteran with a weathered soul and a keen eye, Moss's existence seems etched by an endless cycle of solitude and survival. Little does he know that fate has chosen this barren landscape as the stage for his fateful encounter with the darkest corners of humanity. It is a sweltering day, the sun casting its scorching gaze upon the unforgiving terrain. Moss, driven by the primal instincts of a hunter, follows the trail of a wounded antelope into a desolate ravine. There, amidst the oppressive stillness, he stumbles upon a grisly tableau, an aftermath of violence and human depravity. Bodies, sprawled across the arid ground, bear witness to a drug deal gone horribly awry. The stench of death hangs heavy in the air, intermingling with the suffocating heat. Moss, undeterred by the gruesome sight, gazes upon a scene that defies comprehension. A truck loaded with heroin, abandoned in the chaos, stands as a grim testament to the criminal underworld's brutal presence in this unforgiving landscape. Yet, amid the debris of shattered lives and shattered dreams, a glimmer of hope emerges. A satchel, seemingly innocuous in appearance, rests amidst the carnage. Its contents, two million dollars in cash, beckon Moss with a seductive allure. In this moment, the boundaries of morality blur, and Moss makes a fateful choice, an irrevocable decision that will forever alter the course of his life. As he clutches the stolen fortune in his hands, Moss becomes acutely aware of the Pandora's box he has unwittingly opened. The weight of the money bears down upon his conscience, for he is now a marked man, pursued by the ruthless forces of the criminal underworld. Shadows loom large, threatening to consume him as he treads a treacherous path strewn with violence, paranoia, and unfathomable danger. Moss's heart races with a potent mix of fear and exhilaration as he contemplates the possibilities that lie before him. The money offers the promise of a new life, an escape from the monotonous grip of poverty and obscurity. Yet, it is also a damning burden, an invitation to chaos and the manifestation of humanity's darkest desires. In this pivotal moment, Moss finds himself standing at the crossroads of his own morality. The moral compass that once guided his actions now spins aimlessly, leaving him to navigate the treacherous depths of his own soul. Will he succumb to the allure of wealth and power, succumbing to the darkness that lurks within? Or will he find the strength to resist, to seek redemption in a world tainted by greed and violence? As Moss contemplates his next move, the desert stretches out before him, an unforgiving canvas upon which the battle for his very soul will be waged. He is but a solitary figure in this vast expanse, where the boundaries of right and wrong blur, and where the cost of survival exacts its toll. Little does he know that he has become a pawn in a much larger game, a game that will test his mettle and force him to confront the depths of his own humanity. With each step he takes, Moss delves deeper into the heart of darkness, his path intertwining with those of the relentless hitman, Anton Chigurh, and the world-weary Sheriff Ed Tom Bell. As the shadows lengthen and the sun sets on the Texas horizon, Moss's journey into the depths of moral ambiguity and existential crisis begins, an odyssey that will resonate with the reader long after the last pages have been turned. Anton Chigurh, The Ruthless Hitman In the desolate landscape of West Texas, a figure emerges from the shadows, a specter of relentless malevolence known as Anton Chigurh. With his steely gaze and unyielding demeanor, Chigurh embodies a darkness that lurks in the recesses of the human psyche. He is a force of nature, a harbinger of chaos whose actions reverberate with the echoes of ancient evils. 
Shigur, a hired hitman, possesses a chilling aura of invincibility. His methods are calculated and precise, his footsteps leaving a trail of devastation in their wake. But it is not merely his physical prowess that sets him apart, it is the unwavering resolve with which he pursues his deadly objectives. He is a man of unwavering purpose, an instrument of destruction shaped by a moral code known only to himself. Armed with an air-powered captive bolt pistol, a weapon designed for the slaughter of livestock, Shigur instills terror in the hearts of those who cross his path. His victims are not chosen randomly but subjected to a twisted game of chance, an existential coin toss that determines their fate. To Shigur, life and death are matters of inevitability, guided not by mercy or compassion but by the capricious whims of fate. As Shigur embarks on his relentless pursuit of Luol and Moss, the hunter becomes the hunted, and the boundaries of morality blur further. Moss, unaware of the malevolent force closing in on him, is propelled into a world of paranoia and survival. Every shadow becomes a potential threat, every sound a harbinger of impending doom. Shigur's presence looms over the landscape like an ominous storm cloud, his footsteps leaving behind a trail of blood-soaked soil. His actions are not motivated by personal gain or vengeance but by a twisted sense of order, a conviction that he is merely an instrument of fate, meeting out punishment to those who dare to disrupt the delicate balance of the universe. In Shigur's wake, the remnants of shattered lives litter the landscape like broken dreams. He leaves a trail of bodies, each one a testament to the brutality that lies within the human heart. And yet, there is a perverse sense of logic in his actions, an unsettling reminder that the boundaries between good and evil are not as clear-cut as they may seem. The interplay between Shigur's character and the themes of the novel is profound. He represents the embodiment of moral decay, a personification of the darkness that lurks within every individual. In his cold and methodical pursuit, he forces us to confront our own capacity for violence and the choices that shape our lives. As Shigur closes in on Moss, the air becomes heavy with tension, and the reader is left to grapple with profound questions about the nature of morality and the inherent darkness that resides within us all. Is Shigur a product of his environment, a reflection of a society plagued by corruption and amorality? Or is he a manifestation of something deeper, a manifestation of the human condition itself? In the face of Shigur's unwavering determination, the fragility of Moss's existence becomes apparent. The two men exist on opposite sides of a moral precipice, bound together by the choices they have made and the consequences they must face. Moss's pursuit of wealth and Shigur's pursuit of retribution intertwine in a deadly dance, where the line between hunter and hunted blurs and the question of who truly holds the power remains unanswered. As the narrative unfolds, Shigur's character becomes a reflection of the dissonance between order and chaos, morality and amorality. He challenges us to confront the depths of our own humanity, to grapple with the unsettling realization that the seeds of darkness reside within us all. In the desolate landscape of West Texas, Anton Shigur stands as a formidable embodiment of the enigmatic forces that shape our lives, a reminder that no matter how far we run, the specter of our own inner demons will always be close behind, waiting to confront us with the ultimate question, what lies at the core of our being when faced with the darkest corners of the human soul? Sheriff Ed Tom Bell, The Aging Lawman In the heartland of West Texas, where the line between order and chaos grows increasingly blurred, Sheriff Ed Tom Bell stands as a sentinel of the old ways, an aging lawman caught in the crosscurrents of a changing world. As he navigates the treacherous landscape of violence and moral decay, Bell's weary soul becomes a mirror reflecting the doubts and fears that plague his generation. Ed Tom Bell is a man burdened by the weight of his own conscience. He has dedicated his life to upholding the law, to protecting the innocent and preserving a sense of justice in a world that seems to have lost its way. But as he inches closer to retirement, the cracks in his resolve begin to deepen, and he is forced to confront the harsh realities that have come to define his existence. 
Bell is a witness to the unrelenting violence that permeates his jurisdiction. He grapples with the aftermath of senseless murders and the pervasive influence of drug cartels. Each crime scene, each life cut short, chips away at his faith in humanity, leaving behind a profound sense of disillusionment. He finds himself questioning the efficacy of his own efforts, the futility of his attempts to bring order to a world teetering on the edge of an abyss. As he delves deeper into the investigation surrounding Llewellyn Moss and Anton Chigurh, Bell becomes a spectator to the darkest recesses of the human condition. He sees firsthand the havoc wrought by greed, desperation, and the insatiable hunger for power. The boundaries between right and wrong blur, leaving him adrift in a sea of moral ambiguity, where the certainties of his youth are shattered. Bell's weariness extends beyond the physical toll of his profession, it is an existential weariness, a weariness born from the realization that the world he once knew is slipping through his grasp. He finds solace in reminiscing about simpler times, about the moral clarity that seemed to permeate the bygone era of his predecessors. But now, Faced with the brutal realities of a changing society, he questions whether his own values and principles hold any relevance. In his introspective moments, Bell reflects on the nature of evil, on the shifting dynamics of crime and punishment. He ponders the inexorable march of time, the erosion of traditional values, and the rise of a new breed of criminals who seem impervious to the deterrence of the law. He wonders if he, too, has become obsolete an anachronism in a world where justice is an elusive concept, where the scales of morality tip precariously. As the pursuit of Moss and Chigurh escalates, Bell finds himself grappling with his own mortality. He contemplates the legacy he will leave behind, the impact of his actions, and the ever-present specter of failure. He is haunted by the nagging feeling that he is ill-equipped to face the darkness that has engulfed his beloved Texas, that his efforts to restore order are but feeble attempts in the face of an overwhelming tide of violence and amorality. Yet, even in the face of despair, Bell clings to a flicker of hope, a hope that amidst the chaos, a semblance of goodness can still prevail. He yearns for a return to a world where right and wrong are clear-cut, where justice can be dispensed with unwavering conviction. But as he confronts the harsh realities of his own limitations, he realizes that the battle against evil is not one that can be won outright, but rather a constant struggle, a struggle that demands unwavering resilience and an unwavering commitment to the ideals that define him. Sheriff Ed Tom Bell, the aging lawman, stands as a symbol of a bygone era, a stalwart guardian fighting against the encroaching shadows. In his introspection and vulnerability, we are confronted with the fleeting nature of justice, the inevitability of moral compromise, and the eternal struggle between light and darkness that defines the human experience. Moss's Desperate Escape and Cat and Mouse Game As Llewellyn Moss finds himself in possession of the stolen fortune, his life transforms into a relentless dance of survival, where every decision carries the weight of life and death. Moss, driven by a mixture of desperation and determination, embarks on a perilous journey, leaving behind his wife, Carla Jean, to protect her from the impending danger that shadows his every move. Aware of the ruthless forces pursuing him, Moss becomes a fugitive, weaving through the intricate labyrinth of the Texan landscape. The arid desert becomes both his refuge and his prison, a vast expanse that simultaneously offers hiding places and exposes him to the scorching heat and relentless pursuit. Moss's ingenuity and resourcefulness are put to the test as he employs every trick in his arsenal to outweat his pursuers. He becomes a master of evasion, meticulously covering his tracks and leaving false trails, aware that any misstep could lead to his capture or, worse, his demise. The stolen money, once a beacon of hope, now weighs heavily upon his conscience, a constant reminder of the darkness that has engulfed his life. In his desperate escape, Moss must confront the boundaries of his own morality. He faces the temptation to abandon his principles, resorting to acts of violence and betrayal in order to secure his freedom.
The line between right and wrong becomes increasingly blurred as he grapples with the realization that survival often demands sacrifices of one's own moral compass. Amidst the dangers that lurk around every corner, Moss clings to a flicker of hope, a hope that he can outrun his pursuers, that he can find a way to redeem himself and salvage some semblance of a normal life. Yet, the shadows of Anton Chigurh, the relentless hitman, grow longer with each passing moment, reminding Moss that escape may be an elusive dream. The cat-and-mouse game between Moss and Chigurh intensifies, each move a calculated risk that could tip the scales in favor of one or the other. Moss, fueled by desperation, employs all his cunning and street smarts to stay one step ahead, yet he is keenly aware that he is playing a game with an opponent who seems to possess an uncanny ability to anticipate his every move. Shigur, the embodiment of relentless evil, remains in pursuit, leaving a trail of carnage in his wake. He becomes a force of nature, an unyielding presence that seems immune to the confines of morality and the consequences of his actions. Moss, in his encounters with Shigur, confronts the brutal reality that evil exists not only in the world but also within the depths of his own being, a realization that challenges his own sense of self and the fragility of his humanity. As the chase continues, Moss's desperation reaches new heights, and he is forced to confront the harsh realities of his choices. He must grapple with the consequences of his actions and the impact they have on the lives of those around him. The weight of his decisions, amplified by the pursuit of an unstoppable killer, threatens to consume him, blurring the line between hunter and hunted, and pushing him to the very edge of his limits. In this high-stakes game of survival, Moss's journey becomes a metaphor for the human condition, a struggle against insurmountable odds, a battle against our own vulnerabilities and the choices that define us. It raises profound questions about the nature of morality, the lengths one is willing to go to protect what they hold dear, and the price one must pay for their actions. In the unforgiving Texas landscape, Moss's desperate escape and the cat-and-mouse game with Shigur forces us to confront our own capacity for resilience and our willingness to confront the consequences of our choices. It shines a light on the complex tapestry of the human experience, where hope and despair, morality and amorality, intertwine in a delicate balance, a balance that can be shattered with a single decision, propelling us into a world of darkness and uncertainty. As Moss's journey unfolds, we are reminded that in the face of adversity, our true selves are revealed. It is in the crucible of desperation and survival that the depths of human nature are laid bare, the capacity for both great acts of courage and unimaginable acts of depravity. And in the midst of this harrowing journey, we are left to ponder the fundamental question, what are we willing to sacrifice, and who are we willing to become, in the pursuit of our own survival? Reflections on fate, morality, and the human condition. In the vast tapestry of Cormac McCarthy's No Country for Old Men, a profound exploration of fate, morality, and the human condition unfolds. It is in this intricate web of themes and characters that we are confronted with the harsh realities of life, where the boundaries between right and wrong, good and evil, become blurred and muddled. At the core of the narrative lies a contemplation of fate, a force that seems to exert its inexorable influence over the lives of the characters. Moss's discovery of the stolen money sets in motion a chain of events that engulfs him, Shigur, and Bell in a whirlwind of violence and despair. Their lives intersect, seemingly driven by forces beyond their control, and they are left grappling with the profound question of whether they are masters of their own destinies or mere pawns in a larger cosmic game. Shigur, with his enigmatic presence, challenges our understanding of morality. He embodies a malevolence that defies conventional notions of good and evil, acting as a relentless force of chaos. His coin toss becomes a metaphorical representation of the capricious nature of fate, highlighting the randomness with which life's outcomes are determined. In his twisted worldview, he is a harbinger of justice, an arbiter of fate, imposing his own skewed sense of morality upon those he encounters. As Shigur relentlessly pursues Moss, the boundaries of morality are tested. Moss, driven by his desire for survival, 
is forced to confront the moral compromises he is willing to make. He must navigate the treacherous terrain between self-preservation and the preservation of his own moral integrity. In the face of danger, the choices he makes reveal the depths of his own character, leaving us to ponder the fragility of our own moral compasses when confronted with extreme circumstances. Meanwhile, Sheriff Bell, the aging lawman, serves as the voice of a generation caught between the moral certainties of the past and the moral ambiguities of the present. He grapples with a sense of disillusionment, questioning whether the world has become a place where his traditional values and principles hold any relevance. His introspective musings on the changing landscape of morality and the encroaching darkness serve as a haunting reflection on the human condition, where the very fabric of society seems to unravel before his eyes. In this existential exploration, McCarthy invites us to confront the depths of our own humanity. He delves into the profound and timeless questions that have haunted philosophers and thinkers throughout history, questions about the nature of good and evil, the existence of free will, and the ultimate purpose of our lives. Through the trials and tribulations of Moss, Shiger, and Bell, we are challenged to examine our own beliefs, to confront the complexities of our own moral dilemmas, and to reflect on the impact our choices have on ourselves and those around us. No Country for Old Men serves as a mirror through which we are forced to confront the moral ambiguity that resides within us all. It is a testament to the inherent struggle between light and darkness, between our desires for survival and our yearnings for a moral compass. McCarthy's narrative confronts us with the uncomfortable truth that life does not always adhere to neat moral frameworks, that sometimes, we are thrust into situations where the line between right and wrong is blurred, and we are left to navigate the moral gray areas with imperfect clarity. In the end, No Country for Old Men is not just a tale of violence and pursuit, it is a profound meditation on the human condition. It is a stark reminder that in a world where fate seems to hold sway and morality is constantly challenged, we are tasked with confronting our own choices, with seeking meaning and purpose amidst the chaos. It calls upon us to examine our own moral fiber, to grapple with the complexities of our existence, and to strive for a greater understanding of the forces that shape our lives. The Elusive Nature of Truth and the Erosion of Innocence Within the pages of No Country for Old Men, a haunting exploration of the elusive nature of truth unfolds, laying bare the cracks in the foundations of a world that was once perceived as orderly and just. As the characters traverse the bleak landscapes of West Texas, they are confronted with the harsh reality that truth is often obscured, and innocence is an ephemeral concept. At the heart of this exploration lies the enigmatic character of Anton Chigurh, a figure shrouded in mystery and ambiguity. Chigurh embodies a relentless pursuit of his own distorted version of truth, an unwavering belief in the inevitability of fate and the mercilessness of chance. His actions, driven by a self-imposed code, challenge the conventional notions of truth and morality, leaving a trail of uncertainty in his wake. Shiger's presence forces us to question our own understanding of truth. Is truth an absolute, an unwavering concept that transcends individual perspectives, or is it a subjective construct, shaped by the circumstances and beliefs of those who seek it? McCarthy forces us to confront the unsettling realization that truth may be elusive, that it may manifest differently to different individuals, and that our own perceptions may be clouded by bias, fear, or the limitations of our own understanding. As the narrative unfolds, the erosion of innocence becomes an ever-present theme. The characters, once imbued with a sense of hope and naivety, find themselves thrust into a world tainted by violence, corruption, and moral decay. Moss, a man driven by desperation, is forced to abandon his innocence and confront the darkest aspects of his own nature in order to survive. Carla Jean, his wife, becomes a symbol of purity in a world marred by bloodshed, a reminder of the innocence that is lost in the face of relentless pursuit. Sheriff Bell, the aging lawman, serves as a witness to this erosion of innocence. He laments the loss of a simpler time, where truth seemed more accessible and morality more steadfast. 
Bell's reflections on his own experiences and the changing landscape of his profession underscore the disillusionment that accompanies the realization that the world is not as it once seemed. His longing for a return to innocence becomes a poignant reminder of the fragility of our ideals and the irreversible nature of our choices. McCarthy's exploration of truth and innocence forces us to confront our own complicity in the erosion of these fundamental concepts. Are we, as individuals and as a society, culpable for the distortion of truth, for the corrosion of innocence? Do our actions, driven by self-interest, prejudice, or apathy, contribute to a world where truth becomes malleable and innocence becomes a casualty of the human condition? In the midst of this exploration, McCarthy raises profound questions about the nature of power and its impact on truth. The drug trade, a pervasive presence in the narrative, becomes a symbol of the insidious forces that shape and manipulate truth for personal gain. The allure of power, the pursuit of wealth and dominance, blurs the lines between truth and deception, leaving us to question the very foundations upon which our society is built. No Country for Old Men is a stark reminder of the fragility of truth and innocence in a world driven by violence, greed, and moral ambiguity. It forces us to confront our own complicity in the erosion of these values and challenges us to seek truth amidst the murky depths of our existence. It serves as a cautionary tale, urging us to guard against the erosion of our own sense of truth and to preserve the innocence that lies at the heart of our humanity. In the end, McCarthy's haunting masterpiece serves as a sobering reminder that the search for truth is a perpetual journey, one that requires courage, introspection, and a willingness to confront the uncomfortable realities that lie beyond the surface. It calls upon us to question our own perceptions, to challenge the narratives that are presented to us, and to strive for a deeper understanding of the complexities of the human experience.